Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is another CAD tutorial using Autodesk 123D Design, which is free software you can download for nothing. Last time I showed you my arc reactor, which I designed in uh, Autodesk 123D Design, and then I went on to 3D print it and assemble it in real life. So uh, have a look in my channel for that if you haven't seen it already. Today I'm gonna show you something a bit more contoured. I'm gonna um, show you how to design bits of costume armor basically um, and I'm going to do something quite generic just off the, off the top of my head. So it's going to involve complex curves which um, basically is a curve that bends in two directions at once. There's no way to twist a piece in Autodesk 123D Design so you have to use a feature called Loft which is under the Construct menu um, which will draw a contour across several other shapes. So first of all I'm going to put down some sketches. I'm going to use the Ellipse tool to draw some ellipses. So we can have one quite shallow one. Um, so that puts the ellipse down flat on the surface, but in fact, I need them to stand up. So I'm going to use move, click the rotate thing and rotate by 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna draw another one slightly larger and slightly rounder and again I'm going to rotate that one by 90 degrees and I'm going to do another smaller one just over here which is quite a lot rounder and rotate that by 90 degrees so now I've got these um, three ellipses in a row and if I select all of them by holding control and clicking on them and then I click on construct and loft it should draw a nice contour between them and if I press enter um, that puts the contour in place so I can go and select these circles or ellipses now and delete them with the delete key and that's given me this rather pleasing um, shape which is rounded in this direction and in this direction so if I think that's not long enough, because I think it's not long enough, I can use the press and pull to stretch out the ends and it maintains the contour. So I can do that on the other end as well. So I could, you know, make that shorter or longer. So let's just make it longer for now. And that's gonna form the basis for my uh, generic piece of armor. So I only really want one surface and you'll see this is divided by the ground plane at the moment. So I'm going to do two things to it. Also want it to be hollow so I can put my arm in or whichever piece of armor it is. So I'm going to do two things. One is um, to cut it in half and one is to hollow it out. So first of all, I'll click on this end and use the shell feature and we'll make it, I don't know, one mil thick will do for this. And also want to cut it clean in half. So I've only got the top surface. Um, and we'll then cut it from another direction as well. So to cut it in half, I'm going to sketch a polyline. Like so. And then I'm going to use the split solid feature to split it in half. And that turns the polyline we just drew into a cutting tool. So if I press enter. In fact, we've cut this whole thing in half and I can delete the bottom. I can delete the line. So that's still a bit weird for a piece of armor. I don't think I could get my arm in there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is cut it from the top. So I actually want to draw on this sketch plane um, a shape that I want. So if we just click on bottom, we can bring that in slightly. And then I can use perhaps the spline tool to draw a sketch on here. So let me just draw whatever sort of final shape I want out of this thing. At the bottom maybe we'll have some sort of special feature. And if we find any of this isn't quite right, you know, we can move it around and we can find the points and um, Drag them in maybe. Let's try and position that there. So what we've basically got is a sketch floating above the piece. 
And now we're going to use the split solid tool again to split what's left with this sketch. And that's again use that as a splitting tool. And if we delete the sketch and we delete the outside, there we go. So now we've got this rather nice hollow shape. So I'm not sure why that is, maybe it's uh, some sort of piece of armour. Um, we can colour that in as well, so for the sake of the aesthetics, if we select it and select material, let's have titanium and we'll have a nice red colour. Select Apply overlay, there we go, it's all a nice glossy red. So that's all very well and good. Um, it's kind of nicely curved and everything. Obviously you can make it any shape. Maybe I want some features on there. So I'm actually gonna go and move it below the ground plane so I can draw a sketch again. Let's just do this and top. Let's just zoom in a bit. And maybe I want to have some raised sections on there. So. Let's just sketch a circle on there. I can reposition it slightly. And maybe I want some other feature to come across here. Something like this. Um, and if we want to raise those sections up, we can use split face. So I can select the face I want to split. Again, the splitting entity. And that will, um, doesn't cut through it, but it draws a line. And then we can go and use press and pull to so you bring that up two mil. So we've got this uh, array section there. And we can do the same with these. So if we go and split the face again with that and split the face again, the remaining face with the other line, delete the lines. And again, that gives us another area we can select, which you can then bring up. So so there we go. Right, so now I've designed my piece, um, I can make it slightly more aesthetically pleasing by going rounding some things off. So I can go and select that and select fill it, and I can put a 1mm thing on there, and I can uh, go and round that one off as well in the same way. So we can put a nice round edge on all the way round, and we can do that pretty much to any of the pieces. Very, very easy just to go and put a nice curved edge on. So I'm not going to attempt to 3D print this one right now. Um, basically that was just to show you the features of the loft feature and uh, show that you can design pretty much any complex curve that you'd like. So check out my channel for the next video which will be on something else. That's all for now.